Hello. In this video, uh, I'm going to wrap up my series introducing the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions, and I'm just going to uh, clean up a few remaining topics. So um, one of the things that I wanted to, to do in this video was to address the issue of how you might place a unbranched, unrearranged long alkyl chain, and it doesn't have to be anything, uh, but it's just butyl. Uh, you know, onto an aromatic ring. Because, as I shared in the video on uh, the friedel crafts alkylation reaction, this is not as straightforward as you might expect, that the reaction of benzene with, say, one chloral butane in the presence of aluminum trichloride generates a fair amount of the, the secondary substituted product as a rearrangement product. And it's like 35, 65 or something like that. So how do we do this particular reaction? Well, if you've watched my videos on some redox behavior of benzene, you might be able to put together uh, what we can do. Uh, the way around this particular trouble is to instead of using uh, the, the alkylation reaction, we do an acylation reaction. And that produces the ketone. And because of the resonance stabilized acylinium intermediate, there's no rearrangement in the acylation version. And then we can subject this product to any of the various um, reactions that will reduce ketones to hydrocarbons. For example, the Clemenson reduction is one such. Uh, and, and is one that takes advantage of the aromatic ring. This reaction doesn't work if the aromatic ring is not there. Um, and so while there are two reactions here, it's two reactions that both work in pretty high yield and don't ha ha generate byproducts. So we've talked about uh, a variety of functional groups that can be added by these reactions, but then I just want to, to share with you some other functional groups, right? Generally, uh, like, uh, so let's, let me, let's start with phenol. Phenol cannot be done by electrophilic aromatic substitution. This is not to say that you can't synthesize phenol from benzene, but there's no appropriate uh, electrophilic, no appropriate, let's call it, say, well-behaved. There are electrophilic oxygen sources. But there's no appropriate well-behaved electrophilic oxygen source here. Likewise, um, it's hard to directly convert benzene to aniline. Uh, and I, I will I will resolve both of these issues for you before the end of this video. Um, and it's a similar thing. It's hard. There's no really well appropriate, well behaved electrophilic uh, nitrogen source. Uh, in a previous video, I'm talking about electrophilic fluorination. I had a, a nitrogen-fluorine bond, and even though fluorine is more electronegative than nitrogen, the fluorine is actually the, the, the electrophile, and the nitrogen is the leaving group. And generally, all sorts of things that look like they might be electrophilic sources of nitrogen, the nitrogen is actually making the other thing more electrophilic. Both of these things need to, to go through uh, some intermediate compound. So for phenol, let's make, give myself a little bit of room. Um, you need to first convert benzene into say chlorobenzene or even fluorobenzene. We need a halogen here. I'm going to go ahead and pick chlorine specifically. Uh, that way I'm not using a, a placeholder compound. And then it just turns out that there is a nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction out there. Um, 
and, it, and that's going to be a topic of an upcoming video as well. So the chlorobenzene reacts with uh, sodium hydroxide in water and heat. Uh, and well, it actually produces, since phenol is acidic, produces the anion, which then when you neutralize the reaction, produces phenol. Uh, aniline can be generated the same way. Uh, let me show that that variation. Uh, aniline can be generated the same way. It doesn't mean to have a... Yeah. Aniline is not as acidic, so it's not going to be deprotonated under these conditions. But there's also another way that uh, aniline can be generated if you know something about the redox properties of substituted benzenes, you know that you might know or you might guess that we could nitrate benzenes because, you know, we can at least put a nitrogen containing functional group directly with nitrogen directly on benzene. And then we could reduce nitro group to the amine for not using sodium, uh, sodium amide, but maybe using uh, iron and hydrochloric acid. And this reaction would need to be neutralized because aniline is slightly basic. So um, it's just worth noting that the five electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions I've given you, sulfonation, nitration, halogenation, alkylation, and acylation, are pretty much the main types of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions there are out there. They're not uh, the only ones, but they're the main types. And so other functional groups can't be directly placed on benzene uh, by an electrophilic substitution reaction. That's not saying you can't get there eventually. You just need to do an electrophilic substitution reaction and put on a functional group and change it to something else using another reaction you know how. So this wraps up my sequence of videos on uh, electrophilic aromatic substitutions. The next video series is going to be on substituted benzenes, because this has all been about benzene. Uh, and we know benzene can be substituted. So stay tuned for another sequence of videos to figure out uh, what effect those other substituents might have. Thank you for watching.